a little project, a little bit of left field for me, considering everything I usually work with is um, steel or engines or shit like that. I mean, I have done a little bit of woodworking in the past, I've never videoed it. Um, but this was given to us. Um, I was going to use it out here in the garage. But it's a very, it's a lovely old looking thing. So I'm going to repair it. Some of the runners are a little bit cactus in there, so I'm going to fix that. And I was contemplating sanding and painting it, like, uh, what do you call it? Varnish, lacquer. Um, but I don't know whether it's best to leave, just fix it. See if it's, it's got little bits of, oh no, that's coming off. Might be able to clean the little paint spills off it. Paint, it might even be bird shit because it was out on his side patio for ages. So, I think that's got more value for somebody as a, as a, a an antique. And I'm pretty sure it's old because it's got old, old dovetail joints in it, which you don't get anymore. So, um, it looks like it's handmade because they don't look like factory made dovetails. You can see where they've been cut. You see where they've been cut, so. with that you see the cut marks so this might have been handmade so it could be rather old and it looks like it's been painted in the past and then stripped so sometimes they get you know a little bit of patina it might sand the, the drawers the backs of the drawers paint the outside and clean here yeah, but anyway, let me clean this. I'm going to clean this garage up because it's still, I haven't been out here for a few days now, and as you can see, it's still messy. So I'm going to clean up and sort out, use this as, as a workbench as well, drag that sheet and do something with it. So I'll bring you back when I'm ready. Okay, all cleaned up, ready to start. I've been having a look at this. Um, and if you can see, the curve is worn, and these little stoppers here, I might have to make some new stoppers, look like they're broken off, they're only, only paddle nails, because I've, I've got a paddle nail and gun, of course, let me push that drawer in, no oh, anyway, you see that drops, Drops it down a little bit to the back. I'm going to try, I don't know if you can see in there. So it's got to come up. I might, to, I might put some runners in there. See, see that slides back too far. That one looks like it's as far forward as it's supposed to be. That one's broken off. So I might see if I cut some runners to put inside. I don't need to be thin. And then I might I actually might be able to trim those off. Trim them back. And lift in here. Do you see where it's been running? It's worn down. So I don't know how old these are, but we need to look at the timber on the bottom. That's a rough sawn slab, that's off of... So, um... It's, it's not, um, that wasn't mass produced because it just doesn't have the, the right machine marks in it for that. So, I'm gonna strip these bottom drawers out, also you can see that one's fucked. Now, I know the run on that one's actually broken off the side so I can sort that out, glue it and re-nail it. Just let me finish pulling these drawers out and have a look. I'll, I'll lift the, that up on top of here and we'll have a look. Okay, this is the situation we're in. That's hanging off. That one's missing the bottom slider completely. These. 
I mean, I can straighten those up, but I'm thinking I might get some more and I might pull these out and replace them. Same with the sides. I might duck into town, get some timber. Actually, I might help them probably pull that off. You guys have get something similar. And something I can make runners out of. Actually, if I can get something thick, I can get uh, one piece. I only need one length. Double the width and the same thickness, I can cut it down. And I think I might pull the whole lot out and redo it. See, I don't know if you can see here. Let me get a torch. How far? that's actually worn down, it's got a nice groove in it. So I think ultimately it's going to be far, far easier to replace the lot. That's worn down fucking heaps, hey, look at that one. I don't know if you can see that. That. You know, it's nearly as deep as my fingernail. So I might take that as well, get some of that. They're just the guides to stop the drawer sliding sideways. So I need some of this for the bottom and the sides. And some of this. Let me, yeah. <laughs> Did that one in, just broke it off. Don't, I'll take those with me and see. See this here needs replacing too, so. They're all really badly worn, so I might have to get some something a bit harder from the slide on, which then means get something to get the bottom of that. And that's cracked. I mean, I can glue that, and I've got got panel nail there. I can nail that. That's fine. So in there. But the problem is, actually, I might trim those off and redo them. glue and nail under there on all four drawers I think is going to work better they'll sit there nice and flat they won't be hard to make it's just then it's getting all of the, the little the bits of paint out and the sides so get the paint out of that bloody should be able to make something that I can scrape it. And looking at the back, that's only it's only wallpaper. So if I can wet that, I'll just get a spray bottle and wet it, and then I'll be able to scrape it off, just like steaming it. And I won't have to worry about fucking the timber up because it's not particle board. So I mean two minds how I'm gonna do this, whether I want to re-sand that or leave it with its patina like it is. Let me think about it. I'll bring you back once I've been in town. Okay, back from the hardware. Got the wood, that'll do for the, for the sides. It's close to the, exactly the same size, so that'll be fine. I got some 12 by 12, which is perfect. It was a little bit too long to fit the ute, so I shortened it forcibly. And this here is about 10 mils wider across here, which is fuck all. But we've got full, full thickness here, so that's going to help a heap. So what I'm going to do now is go through and start very gingerly pulling all this out. That one won't take much, it's just about fucked. And then take some measurements. Bring the other, the other one of the saw horses in. And start um, cutting things up. I'll make something for those. I should be able to just trim something off one of these, like trim lengthwise. And then just nail it to there. A bit of glue. Put myself another 
another bottle of PVA. Magic stuff. Magic glue. So when I'm ready to get going, I'll, I'll bring you back. Okay, now I've got all the guts stripped out. Except for those, those two at the bottom, I didn't need to get those out. But even that middle bit, that's going to be a good one to try and get back in because it was a shit to get out and it's worn like buggery and it's chipped on the end there. Might be able to sand it and flip it. But I don't know, I'd say... I don't know why it's got... However, that was made out of a piece of something else. But I'm going to cut all of these. I'll measure them and cut them. I'm just going to use that. I used that when I built the cave. And it's good, perfect for timber like this. It saves you have to get the circular saw out. And I, I don't have to use the jigsaw because it makes more of a mess than anything. So I already trimmed that off, it comes up all right. So I'm going to measure these and then cut all those. I need six. Hopefully I haven't fucked everything up by, by snapping it in the middle, but we'll see how we go. Yep. seven out of this but we'll try okay two eight not too bad, I can tolerate that, but the fucking things will start howling soon, and they howl all day long. It is fucking annoying, I'm telling you.
All right, now I'm gonna sand these, dress them, and I'm gonna cut this other one up. You don't need to see me doing that because you've seen me cut and stuff. So once I've got everything cut, I'll bring you back. Stay tuned. Okay, now I've got that all done all cut i'm going to start to nail glue and nail those to those i'll bring you back when i'm ready to do that but i've decided to take i'm sorry if that sun's flaring in here because i opened the garage door i'm gonna try and get these off because i've decided i'm gonna replace them as well even though they're not damaged at the moment but it's going to be much much easier to nail the pieces onto the sides and then put them in and i'm going to nail them from the outside I said use framing nails and I'll just be able to measure it and mark it with a pencil. Pop it in. The only thing is I'm gonna to have to try. I mean there's nothing stopping me there's a crack there. But from just punching them in a little bit and then just a little tiny bit of you can make some some filler out of sort of just scooping the sawdust up and mix it with a bit of woodwork. So I might do that. You can see where it's been repaired. Like there, like there's fucking nail holes everywhere there. So they've tried to fix it and just kept falling down. So I'm gonna pull these out. Try and do that now without breaking it. I don't know if I can pop you in here. Hang on, I've got the little, my little What's the name here? Can you see that? I think you can. Um, what I do with the chisel. I've got a fucking wood chisel here somewhere. So I might have to adjust the volume on this because it'll probably fucking deafen you. But let me see what I can do. See, rubber mallet. Do the right thing. Don't use a steel hammer on a wood chisel. I think they're nailed in through the bottom as well for these ones. Let me see. Oh. Yes, I suspect they are. and bottom you can see those fucking nails so you know we're trying see they've been nailed up from the bottom as well so i've got to somehow is that fucking mouse shit i think it might be anyway i'll take this other side off and then i'll bring you back when i'm ready to start hammering and gluing everything back together all right i've got all these made they're all just sitting there i'm just gonna leave them till tomorrow let that let the glue set probably I'm going to put them in, measure up nail from the other side, and I'll probably just skew nail from here. But they'll be glued front and back, so that glue will hold it. I'll do the same all around this one. This one I'm just going to try. It's a little bit tight. I might just sand a little bit off it, make it so it's just neat, so I can glue it. And then I'll, I'll do the same. I'll skew nail it from the front, and then measure up from the bottom and nail it at the back. But I think that's all I'm going to go and have some lunch. And then I'm going to do these. I should have enough over there, that 12 by 12, to put in here. So I'm only going to take from there out down to there and just replace this bit in the middle because this, this stuff here I've got for the runners is perfect. So I'm going to cut it out with the, that blade glue and nail it in so I can nail it to the other bit. I'll do that after lunch and then that'll set overnight and then I'll get into doing the rest of this. I'm at a quandary because I want to try and fix those too but I don't know how. Without making it look terrible. I thought maybe just use a fine blade like a hacksaw cut straight and then cut at an angle and then make a wedge and glue it in there. I think that might work. See that one's not too bad. That one's not too bad, but that one's bad. 
it's worn a bit, that's bad. That's not too bad, that's, that's the worst one. So I might think about that once I've done these drawers. So I can always use some of this stuff I pulled out and cut it. I think that might work, because then I can glue it in and then saw it off straight. I think that might work, and that's going to be much easier to do before I put those in. But they're just sitting, they're all just sitting in there. So I'll let them set. So I'm going to go and have some lunch, and then I'll, I'll bring you back when I'm finished. Stay tuned. Okay, I've got this far. Now what I've done is I've put the guides on as well. Guides to stop the drawers from sliding. Side to side, keep them straight. And the centre one. So they're sitting there now ready to let them dry overnight. And I've got this drawer. You see the old timber, like that's old circular saw fucking timber. That's not, you know, band saw fucking computerized stuff. So what I've done is I've cut these off. You just see what they, they're very much like that. So I've come back and I've cut some of this. So what I'm gonna do is put a generous amount of glue under it. So it'll glue in that joint as well. Plus these, so they're cracked the same on the other end. And then put some clamps on the sides just to hold it down. And then try and nail it. I don't know whether the nail's gonna be overly successful. They should reach. Even if I get the nails just to hold on to onto here, just sort of skew nail it a little bit. The glue will hold do the rest. That should hold on alright. Then I'll do the others if I've got enough. I don't think we're gonna have enough of, of this. But I'll, if I have to I'll just do another draw, I'll do another not the other long one. And I'll go in tomorrow. This is cheap as cheap as shit. This thing's about eight dollars for a length so should have got two lengths, but that was before I worked out what I was going to do here. So, um, and I've just seen another problem because that's not quite as high. I might have to get something bigger. I need this to be as high as that so the drawers slide in, or even just a fraction higher, so it'll slide in over here. Um, quandary, quandary. I might be able to, I might just have to go and get some more tomorrow, I think. Look at some of this shit here. Could probably slice up into, oh, look at that. Cut that up into strips, 10 mil strips. And that'll do that. I don't think I've got any of that left. But what I do have is some of that which is the same height. That's a, that's spare. I don't got any other spare here except for the old shit. Oh, I might be able to get enough to actually to do the whole lot with those two scrap bits. Stick with me and I'll, um, I'll see what I can do. take them over and give them a clean up. Let's see I'll go that way. Yeah that way too late so I'll go that way. Yeah see so how we go it's gonna be a bit of a tough one but you can only piss with the dick that you have. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Alright this is what I've got. I'm having trouble holding it so that they're flat. 
so I can nail them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that, let that glue set, and then nail the nails aren't quite long enough, so I'm going to skew nail it. So that's going to be better to do when it's dry. So I could leave that, and then obviously you trim it a little bit off the back. Um, yeah, so I'm just, that's got a nice bead down the inside there. I'm just going to go along that one a little bit more. But I've got a fair bit under that, and it's got into everything, so that, that'll glue all that down. So, so that's probably about all I'm going to get done today, because I'll have to work out something different tomorrow. I might bring another trestle in. Fuck, enough to stop me from doing that today either, I suppose, but it's quarter to two. Oh, I'm just about ready to give it, give it away anyway for the day, so... Tomorrow I'll bring another, well I've got two more outside there, as you can see. I'll put a big one on one and those two little ones on another. And what I'll do is I'll prep them all first. I only did this one, just this time, just to, for a test, basically. So, I can do that, do those tomorrow and while I'm waiting for them to dry, then I'm gonna pull all these back out and start doing, see if I can do the repairs on this. I wish I had something that I could fucking put in there. Maybe a square, I've got a square file. Might just, or even that, or I might go into town and just get myself a, a rasp, a square rasp, just to chew that out, because particularly that one. Figure that one. Get a nice big one and square it out. And then, because I've got a couple of bits of, I've got still some of this left. So if I get something even half inch, or 12 mil, that'll fit fucking perfectly. Here's something 12 mil wide. So I can, um, yeah, I might do that, because I was a bit worried about whether you're gonna see these. The only time you can see them is when the drawers are open. No, you're not. You can see them when the doors are closed, because the doors sit over here. Uh, I'll have to think about that. I don't suppose it really matters too much. Alright, I'm back into it today. I didn't do much yesterday because my neck was fucking killing me, but I did come out here, did a few things where there's some cracks, where it was lifting. Some of these, I glued that and nailed, nailed it in position so it's steady. Glued, glued these, glued that, although you know, it's not going to hold up there because it's too big a gap, but it's glued in here, so that'll stop it splitting any further. Um, so today I'm going to try, see if I can do something with these. I had a thought, and I'm thinking, uh, yeah, no. Nah. Jigsaw blades aren't wide enough. I did have a long one here once, but I think I broke it. So let me see what I'm going to come up with and I'll bring you back. Right, I've just done this one just to see how it's going to work. What I've done is I've used me, me saw, me saws all, and very carefully got it, then chiseled it and cut that little piece that's going to fit in there. So I'm going to glue that in, the other way around. And then clamp it, and then see how that goes. See how it looks once it's sanded. It might need to be filled, obviously, but let me put you in the stand for a second. Hang on. How's that? Beautiful. Get me wood glue. And give it fucking heaps. It's like snot, this stuff. Usually it's runnier than this. Plenty in there. Oh. 
pulled it out the sand off, obviously. These clamps aren't meant for woodworking, but what the hell? Right. Right on. So I'm gonna let that actually let me just make sure it cooperates. No, I won't do that. Because if it starts to wear down the nail will stick up and it'll wear the fucking drawer out, so no, no nails. Upstairs for thinking. Well that's how I think. I mean you may notice it. Or may not. Depends on if I sand it and re-lacquer re it, you're probably not going to see much. Um, but it is what it is. It needs to be fixed. I can't leave it like it is. It's just too badly worn. Particularly, you know, like these top ones right across the top here are particularly bad. That one's not quite so bad, but I think if I went through and did a lot, it's going to look a little bit more uniform, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to sort all this other shit out and start doing these drawers first to get them knocked over. Then I'll kind of come back and do the rest of this. Right, that's the second one done. But what I've done is I've clamped it lightly and nailed it straight up. So they look pretty good. I'm going to cut them off. Some of them made a little shorter, some are longer, but they don't need to be overly long. They don't need to be long. The others are they're that much short, but that's fine, it'll stick them in the middle. So now I'm going to take that off and sit it down somewhere to let it dry. And get the other one up, and then I'll put you in the stands, put you on time, time warp or something, so you can see what's going on. approach this one differently because this was already broken you see it was already nailed but it's coming out I've had to try and get those fucking nails out of there I might just cut them off and clamp it over the width and see if I can nail the stuff over the top that should hold it okay I think but yeah I'm definitely going to need to address that because you can see where it's coming out from here as well so I don't have the clamp wide enough, but I can join the two of those clamps together to reach across. So I'll do that in a second and just see if I can get it to close over enough once I grind those nails out. I just have to put a cutting oil in the grinder. That's broken before, you can see. The last one was broken too, but it was easy to get off. This side's not too bad, but I'm still going to blow that out and glue it and then squeeze it together and then I'll, I'll nail the other bits on top and I can leave that I won't have to move that so that should be a bit more secure so yeah let me fit all that
done. I'm just going to leave it. I don't think I'll do much more today because I want to, I've got drawers and shit everywhere so I want to let these dry overnight. And then tomorrow, come out and do these. This should take too long. And then make me little stoppers for the drawers. They can be a bit high. The ones that are in there weren't, weren't very high. They're only a couple of mil high, but you see that the height between there and there, you can go a little bit higher than that. So, might do that. And I think on the drawers on here, I might put a couple of stoppers to stop the drawers coming all the way out. So it'll come out so far and it'll, it'll hit and the drawers can sit in there and there might be a wise move too and once they're done I'll get those done tomorrow let them dry and then Friday I could start sanding I'll get the sander out going to some more paper I think I'm going to sand the whole thing I was just going to leave it with the you know to the patina but it's been painted and stripped several times by the looks of it so all this shit in here I want to get all that off as well um, in that, that join there, I don't know how the fuck I'll get that out, but see if I, I could probably scrape it out and make something and dig it out, but it's going to look odd if I want to try and just varnish it, so I might sand the whole thing, bring it back to life, so I've got a few other bits here that I could make some filler out of sawdust and fill in, there's a couple of spots, another lump there, a few spots I'll have to get it down off there to see the top but from memory the top's fine so and I've purposely left these nails in until I'm ready to put the stoppers in just so I, oh that really do I only got to go back from the front that far so they once pushed all the way in they sit level with the front here so yeah I might even do that tomorrow as well do those Pull those nails out, make the stoppers, sand here, sand these, and then nail the stoppers on. And um, then I'll I'll put the sides in, the guides. Let's see we're all around the back here, ready to go. They're all set, dry, hard. Um, it'll be better than a fucking new one, right? That'll be I won't want to get rid of it. But you see a lot of this shit online and they don't sell for very much, you know. I've seen something similar to this online for $60. I mean, fuck, I'll spend more than $60 on bits. So, um, by the time you count the, the wood that it cost, the, I think it was $40 for the timber. Plus, I've got a. I'll probably have to get some sandpaper and then I've got to get the varnish. So, you know, there's a good chance that I might restore this and then keep the fucking thing or we'll just sell it for whatever it'll go for. Make a little bit back on it, I suppose. Better than a poke in the eye, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going inside. Fuck it. Stay tuned. Thanks for hanging out. Stay safe. Peace.